I'm doing a little face mask. It's been on for like 15 minutes and it's still not dry yet. What the heck? Why is there white spots on here? Maybe I should take it off. Okay, so I literally just took the face mask off and then I put this little natural lip balm on i got it from daiso and it is cruelty free it's actually really good i freaking love it it smells amazing but i went to the dentist the other day and he told me that my gums are bleeding and i was like what no you need to uh be flossing more if your gums are bleeding and i was like okay he's like yeah that's contrary to popular belief like a lot of people think that if you are um bleeding when you floss that means you need to stop and like you're hurting yourself but no it's the opposite so you need to be flossing more so i need to be doing that i'm also doing this new i don't know he prescribed this um mouthwash for me oh it is this one i honestly core Brexitine, something like that. <laughs> um, that I need to be rinsing my mouth out with twice a day. And um, yeah, it feels like normal mouthwash. It doesn't, it doesn't taste any different or feel any different. It doesn't feel more alcoholic or like more stingy or whatever. But yeah, so I've been um taking better care of myself. I feel like I have been I don't know taking care of my skin only wearing mascara and my eyebrow makeup but i feel like i kind of want to do something different today i'm like i don't know why i'm breaking out on this side because i don't know i literally i had candy two days ago with a snickers bar but why am i not breaking out on this side it's so interesting could be my pillowcases but i change my pillowcases every at least once a week so i don't understand why i'm breaking out on this side i wash my face i drink 72 ounces of water every day I eat healthy. I don't understand why I'm breaking out on this side. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> you guys are balancing on my cup my coworker gave me. It is this cup, and it literally reminded me of Adeline Warren. And it, this cup just makes me so happy. I drink tea out of it, and I just left it in the bathroom because I need to take my, um, what is it called? My probiotic pill. I haven't had a, an eventful week. I literally have been just been working this entire week. Well, mine is going to the dentist. That was pretty fun. And then I went to the thrift store to waste time before. And I found this little um, candle. It looks like it's from Anthropology, but it's actually not from Anthropology. And I picked it up. There was no price tag on it. And I was like, oh, they're probably going to charge me like $8 for it because it looks like it's from Anthropology. I'll show you guys. So this is the candle that it is, and it literally, no one used it at all. It was $1.99, and it smells so good, and usually the good smelling candles, they overpriced. Same for this one. I got this one from the thrift store. I think it was $2, and no one had ever used it, and I'm literally using it right now. It's one of my favorite candles, and yeah, so I spent $4 getting candles. It's literally the best thing. So yeah, right now I'm literally <laughs> in my room. Those are the flowers that I'm trying. My see, look, I don't understand. Like every week, I have a goal to figure out what's what's up with my body. A couple weeks ago, it was um, my stomach felt like it was like distended or like I was over bloated because like my stomach was hurting because it was out pushed out so far it was because i was eating too many blueberries so every single week it is my goal to find one new thing like why my body's doing what it's doing so i'm learning a little bit more about myself and yeah this poster fell <laughs> that that piece came off that little pin so i'm gonna have to fix that but yeah as you can see in the background i'm watching adeline morin but 
yeah I have work again today and I have to do literally just homework I also have to call this place because I'm gonna get my surgery in a week and I need to get my test done sometime this week so fingers crossed that those people answered because I can only call them tomorrow because they open tomorrow and I originally thought that my wrist was getting better and I was like super excited I was like hey I might not have to have this surgery but then I was like you know what I haven't been using it at all because I haven't been closing so I literally just have been taking food out and using this hand and it's been perfectly fine but now I have to close the store and that's what makes my wrist hurt from sweeping from cleaning tables from flipping the chairs and it's like I don't have an option to not do that so I just I just do my best and like sometimes people complain like hey my you didn't clean this well you normally clean well and I'm like I know like my wrist was hurting but I'm literally like okay no worries I'll just do it better next time and I just don't want to use my wrist as an excuse every time because I don't want it to become a habit or become something that the reason why people can't rely on me if that makes sense but yeah I literally have been eating I've been eating pretty good so I'm proud of myself for that but I do not like that people are like oh you're on a diet Maya's on a diet she's on a diet and I'm like I'm not on a diet I just it helps me sleep better when I eat healthy. It helps me feel more awake and I don't feel tired and groggy the whole day or like sleepy. Like, like oh, I just want to go home and take a nap. I just feel so good when I eat healthy or when I ride my bike to and from places. And like, if I get rides, yeah, that's cool. Like, it's totally fine. But I don't know. I, I just feel my best when I'm eating healthy or when I'm drinking a lot of water because people see me not drink soda at work and then when I close one day and I drink a little like water cup of soda like this much they're like oh my you're drinking soda and I'm like yeah sometimes I crave soda but I just don't want to have it all the time because it's not healthy for me and I don't sleep well at all if I don't eat healthy I wake up so much more often if I eat unhealthy so I'm just doing this for my personal health my that's my pillowcase that you guys see. My personal health and just to make myself feel good, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, literally this whole entire week I've been nonstop working and I didn't want to vlog that because, I mean, there's nothing to vlog. So I guess I'm just going to vlog the fun parts or the little parts of today before I go to work and then, um, sometime tomorrow in the morning, but... Yeah, I literally this week has not been eventful at all. At all. I'm about to put on some makeup. And I literally am just going to do eyebrows, mascara, and lip gloss. This is the lip gloss I was telling you about. <gasps> it's so freaking good. It's all dirty because I have like my eyebrow stuff in there as well. But it is um, rosehip oil. It's a hydrating lip care. And has vitamin E in it. And there's like a ton of them. And it's only a dollar at Daiso. And I literally want to grab all of them. But I feel like obviously I won't be able to use them all. But I also don't want them to go out of them. And me not be able to have any more. So I have no idea what to do. If I should just like go and grab like five dollars worth of them. Because there's only like six of them or seven of them or whatever. And then just have them all. And just not have to worry about them being out of them next time I go because those are that's the type of store that's like oh yeah we don't sell those anymore and I'm like that was my favorite but yeah I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and put on some mascara and then head to the store and grab a smoothie or something because I haven't had breakfast yet and I need to fuel the tank So we are headed to the store. We're gonna go grab something to make some lunch. And I think I wanna make some like spinach wraps and some like a smoothie type of thing, which I know exactly what it's gonna be. It's the green goddess. Can't remember who it's by, but it's a green smoothie. Okay, so I'm back chilling in bed. 
watching some YouTube videos before I have to go to work. <laughs> I had some of these, um, I made, what are they called? What do you call them? Uh, wraps. I made some wraps. And this is a sneaky way of how I am inserting my greens into my diet because as of right now, I'm not craving any greens. Like, I just want fruits and sweet things, but that's also bad for your teeth. That's a lot of natural sugars. That's bad for your body. So I'm going to try and insert more greens inside my diet. I posted them on my Instagram. So if you don't follow my health and fitness Instagram, go ahead and follow that now. I'll leave a link below or what you can look up on Instagram. And, um, yeah, I was trying to eat healthy. I thought I was going to drink that probiotics yogurt, but I didn't drink it. So I'll probably have it for snack when I get to work on my like cool down session from riding my bike. I'm like prepping myself from riding my bike right now because I'm so lazy, but I guess that's a good thing that I have to ride my bike everywhere because if I didn't, then I wouldn't be doing cardio every day. <laughs> I do. I ride my bike pretty much for two hours a day to work and from work unless someone can like pick me up or if someone can drop me off, but yeah i pretty much do cardio two hours a day and that's probably why my muscle gains aren't that good because i'm doing more cardio than i am doing body weight exercises but um i guess this is a normal day for me like i well not not normal i normally wake up at 6 a.m and i'm like headed to and from places but the food wise it's a normal day for me where i'm trying to insert healthy things into my diet rather than unhealthy things and like switch out some things but um i've been trying to stay away from salt but i ended up having those little like like stater brothers checks mix type of stuff but it was really good so i do not regret it at all okay so i'm sitting in bed right now and i literally oh my god i literally just got so anxious and i don't know i don't know what to do i'm literally just like stressing out for no reason and I don't know what it's for and I hate when this happens so much because there's literally nothing I can do I can just feel my heart beating really fast and I'm just like no nope. <laughs> um I remember telling my friend from the emoji class that um I only like uploading like positive vlogs and stuff like that and he was like no it's okay to upload vlogs when you're sad or like stuff like that I was like yeah but I want people to be happy when they see my vlogs so I feel like this is a vlog that's pretty much that um <laughs> I don't know why I'm so anxious and I'm stressed out right now but I literally I was just sitting here literally I was just sitting here watching YouTube videos all like happy like normal and then ra randomly I just got it I just got super panicked and like the way I feel now is the same way I feel when I'm like trying to suppress a panic attack and like I haven't had a panic attack in a while just feels so weird but hopefully this clip doesn't happen like right before like a totally different clip where i'm just like i'm stressed out and then it's like hey guys i'm buying chapstick <laughs> i don't know <sighs> but yeah um all my candles on i left that on all day i went to the store and i accidentally left this candle on so there goes me not qualified for being a firefighter <laughs> but yeah um i need to be moving in the next like 30 minutes something like that but <laughs> I legit am so lazy to ride my bike and I can't uber so I'm just gonna have to ride my bike which is totally fine I mean I get my health and my cardio in but I just I don't know I'm just so lazy I don't feel like walking up the hill Ugh. I don't know I'm, I'm definitely just complaining in this video <laughs> But I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching my video. I totally planned on vlogging more today. But I have a feeling that I'm not going to vlog for the rest of the day. Because it's literally just me riding my bike to work. And then I'm just going to go to work and then come home. Go to sleep. <laughs> but thanks guys so much for watching this video. I hope you had a great day. Thank you so much for joining me and coming back to my channel. I'll see you guys next Monday. Same time. Same place. <laughs> and don't forget that you're capable of amazing things i won't forget that i'm capable of amazing things give up on giving up in 2018 and i'll see you guys 
next Monday.